There's a fate. We made it here to chapter... We're chapter two, right? You were chapter two. Uh, support one of the missions that we're trying to complete here. We're doing mainly cleanup in this video. Uh, call it bonus footage because we're going to hop into the power plant next time. But I was able to clean out some more of these missions here. For instance, Lost in the Darkness. This dude found dropped his notebook when the lights went out. In the last video, he mentioned, we spoke to him, and he mentioned something like, did I leave it with the blonde at Core Lift 1? Did I leave it with the redhead at <laughs> Cafe Chelsea? Well, that's our hint. So the Scooby-Doo mystery is going to come to an end in a second as soon as we pick up this notebook, because it's right here. Basically, my logic was, let's just go to both places and see if there's anything flashing and shiny. And look, what do you know? Found something shiny. Nani? See? Dingy notebook. It's Nicholas Sparks' novel, I guess. So that was easy. <laughs> We're going to clean up. It's going to be great. Actually, there might be more than one notebook. So what I'm thinking about, let's stop by Core Lift 1 and see if there's anything there. Probably not. But I want to say there's nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing here. See? Nothing shiny. So we can clean up, so we can uh, finish up that mission. That won't be an issue. The other thing I really want to do is... Go to the arena, because I want to show you what's available at this point in the game. But in the meantime, let me uh, talk to this dude. And I think it's right here. This should be the entrance right here. <laughs> Might be the southern entrance, I forget. Yeah, this is it. The guy's over here. And over the item. <laughs> so we're going to get a... We're going to get barrier padding. This should be an item that increases our defense. So let's take a look. I'm not getting the colored hexes I want, but that's okay. There we go. Cutting physical damage by 10%, so uh, not terribly important. But let's see who the weak let's see who the who needs this the most. Wait a minute. Oh, it's supposed to be an accessory. Okay, well in that case. Yeah, it's an accessory. She can't wear it. <laughs> Actually, don't we have a status here somewhere? How do I even know what their um that's weird. There's no status abilities, so I can't see what their I can't see what my character's defense levels are. Maybe they they might all be equal. I don't know. Yeah, they might all be equal. Oh well. So we'll just give it to whoever who has the low. Well, Leanne also has the least amount of HP. So that's the other problem. I should also mention that Leanne's carrying the submachine gun right now. So that limits my options because it means that she's basically used up all of her ability. Actually, why does she have a grenade box? You don't have any grenades. Might as well unequip that. Okay. First aid kit. I could give her a first aid kit. But she's scratch she's doing the scratch damage, so it's probably not a good idea to give her a first aid kit, right? Because she needs to soften up the enemies. <sighs> Alright, so she can carry this. So we'll switch that out later. So now she takes a bit less damage. I mean, she has what? She has about 20% less HP than everyone else. So this might help her out a little bit. Not a lot, but a little. Okay, so that 5 there, I guess that's the defense level. No, that's, that's her weight. That's the weight of the item. Yeah, that's the weight of the item. So on the far right-hand side of the screen right there, you can see where it says the little weight icon. 267 over 364. Most of that's the gun, and five of that's the ring. So that's what that means. Like right here, you add up these two values. The gun is 250. The magazine case is 70. So that's how you get to the 320 that Zeph is carrying right now. All right, so basic stuff. We don't have any other. We we don't have any other parts we can use. So you haven't bought any either. Mission memo. Yeah, we need three of these, and I only have two, I want to say. That might be the other thing I do, is farm for these things. Yeah, I got two of them, so I, can, I have to farm for these. Okay, so I said the next thing I'm going to do is go to the... Let me get out of here. Well, I'll just take the long way around. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save my game, obviously. And then I'll go to the arena, I'll show you what's going on in the arena. Because what's interesting about the arena at this point in the game is that it's... it's or you saw me go to the arena earlier. There, was ba there basically wasn't much to do there. You couldn't really fight anyone there because there all, all we had were rank 1 fights. Well, now that we're in Chapter 2, 
the next five levels of the arena are now available. So now we can fight tougher enemies and get better loot. So instead of getting pennies by winning those fights, we can now get uh, more money and conceivably... Um, Why well, even then? Uh, apparently the way it works is you have to win two level one fights to get to the next ranking. And then you have to complete three level two fights to get to unlock level three. So the idea is we're going to fight five enemies in the arena for experience, obviously. And then we'll be able to unlock higher level fights and hopefully some higher level gear. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a lot going on at this point in the game. I just want to see what my options are. So we've saved the game. So let's bail. We might not get a scrap machine gun from the... Um, enemies outside the power plant, but again, that's how we're going to kill time. Fill up this DVD player. Whoops. Got a random encounter. Okay, there's only one enemy here, so we'll just soften him up with Leanne. She, remember, she's doing scratch damage with that uh, gun right there. She can charge it up to level 3. So let's just lay, let's just lay down some damage on this guy. Again, I, I can't see what her experience level is. I guess if you look below the 12 right there on her gun, I want to say her experience level is shown underneath that gun. Vash is right there. Yeah, he's level four with that handgun. So I guess, so we see where it says the six next to his red gun under his name. There's a four right underneath that. So yeah, that, that probably determines when the experience level will go up. And there's Zeph. So I guess my logic is we'll let Leanne attack this dude and then we'll let Zeph attack him next because we want those two individuals to gain experience first. One, two. He's airborne. Smack down. Yes, it is. Let's just lay down more damage on him. Because, again, damage to the body is experience. Okay, the Grimm going to take him on. But like I said, Zeph needs more experience than Vash at this point. So we'll let him charge the leader and c complete the leader assault to end this fight. One, two, three, four. That will wipe him out. So I guess that's one excuse to level up to level 4, is that you inflict more damage, which means you get more experience, right? Converting blue scratch damage to red permanent damage gives you experience, and of course laying down direct damage directly does the same thing. So I guess the more damage the better, which means the more we level up the gun before we fire it, the more experience we're probably getting. So let's do a check. Unfortunately, there are no values that appear on the screen that show you that, so it's kind of hard to track how much how much experience you're getting. There's a uh, Leanne with her machine gun there. So that's how much experience she has. So before we go into the arena, we can see how much experience she has. And let's see. Yeah, there's Zeph. So he'll catch up. So for now, if we're get, so for now, we're gonna let we'll focus on Leanne and Zeph so that he can level up. Actually. Yeah, he's using a handgun, so he needs to level up. And Leanne definitely needs to level up, but she's using, she's using a machine gun. So we'll make it work. Grinding at this point in the game isn't too bad. Of course, we're gonna, that's part of the reason why I'm making this bonus video, so you get some idea about the flow of the game at this point. Because I don't want to go into the power plant until we've leveled up some more, which we can do here in the arena. We can also do it outside. But I might as well just do it here, because we're going to practice the game a bit. You the game record you set here. Encounters fled. Enemies unlocking the bestiary. Max resonance point count. What's the point of having more than three resonance points anyway? <laughs> You're doing a try attack with three. Of course, the argument is that you don't really need a try attack yet. So you can save them for later in the fight, I suppose. But you do lose resonance points if you don't. If you don't. I think. Yeah. I think. I think you do lose resonance points at some point. Uh, the manual explains that. It's been a while since so I've had to worry about that, though. <coughs> time using Zephyr, time using Leanne. That's probably based on the... That's probably based on all, all the time I spent in the arena. Or, excuse me, in the tutorial area. Wouldn't be shocked by that. Because for... Well, actually, well, even then. Yeah, that's right. It's the time I, it's the time spent running around dungeons, I guess. Stuff like that. So whatever. That doesn't even matter. Uh, let's see. That's not terribly important. Ruby spent on clothing and accessories. Yeah, we're not going to have that conversation. Rankings. 
Uh, the Blitz Tortoise. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure all the hardcore fans of this game are interested in this random esoterica. Combat challenge. See, we've uh, unlocked more of these rankings here. So the game says win two more rank one rounds to reach the next rank, which is two. But we're not getting a whole lot of coins for this stuff. Oh well, we're not gonna lose. We have a we have plenty of money right there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. We got plenty of money, so we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna clean out some enemies, gain some experience in the process. You saw how much experience uh, our characters have before this fight. So let's see how much experience we get after these two fights. Yeah. After this one. Yeah, this one's kind of annoying because they're kind of split up. So I'll tell you what, I want to attack two enemies, then we'll just have the other two guys run around. So let's run in between these two enemies, but yeah, we can run in between these two. They're reasonably close together. Actually, where's who's she closest to? Yeah, she's going to run in between these two guys anyway. Okay, she's going to take out two fellas. Let's just run in between these two. There we go. First dude. So we're going to press L on the D-pad. Switch. Good enough. Okay, I'll probably waste the time. That guy was too far away. I was never going to be able to hit him. We've softened up two enemies. So that means these two guys will be able to do the rest. Uh, let's see. we will run in between these two guys. We'll just, we'll just blow away these two guys. Get our bezel back. Not dead. He'll be dead in a second. He's dead now. Oh, he's not dead. Now he's dead. Okay, I really screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess I should have jumped first. Okay, uh, two residence points. I can do the try attack. All right, so uh, we'll just wipe out this dude first. Square. He's not dead. Leanne, soften him up again. Bash. Up next, wipe him out. I want to switch people. Okay, I press L1 to switch. I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> yeah, I kept I pressing the L R1 button to switch people. It's probably a bad idea. So that was incredibly confusing for you, I apologize, that's okay. Next. Let's run up on this dude. Okay, we'll just jump over him and do it. That'll soften him up. We'll just lay down a bunch of damage on him, get a bunch of experience. As long as it attacks his body, we're getting experience. Because I don't even know what his weak point is, see? Get a bunch of experience there. Ow. Alright. So now, uh, let's see, Vash, Zeph, we'll let Zeph do it next. Zeph will go next and finish off the fight. There we go. Just charge up to level one, you'll be fine. Actually, just charge it up completely. Yeah, so we lay down more damage <laughs> and get more experience. <laughs> I guess. Might not have made a difference. I want to say leveling up to level one would have wiped out most of that blue scratch damage, right? But anyway, I got 75 to 75 points of damage. All right, so and of course you did damage before that fight. I need to face just one enemy and just see how much experience we get doing that. Even if it means canceling a turn, might be better. Might be better off doing that. Yeah, Vash was involved in that try attack, so that throws things off a bit too. We'll figure it out. We can always go back and review the footage to see what it says. Uh, yeah, he was at 600, I think, before. Handgun. I don't even know what he was at. Leanne, yeah, Leanne. I want to say Leanne didn't get that much damage. Didn't inflict that much damage. Okay. I want to say the next fight, the enemies will be closer together, so it'll be easier for us to deal with. Alright, yeah, 127. Okay. Normally, if I weren't recording this, I would write all these values down as far as experience goes. Like I said, we have footage now. <laughs> So you can review it yourself to see how much experience we got for the damage we did. These levels are these enemies are very low levels, let's be honest. Okay, so Leanne can uh, run towards these two dudes and wipe them both out, whittle them both down. 
Let's get her over there to the left side. She can set up a try attack more easily, I want to say. Yeah. So the first guy should be the guy on the bottom. One. We only need to go to level one. Let's hit Smackdown on. One, two. Yeah, this will wipe him out. So we're, just, we're just getting some extra experience. Okay, the problem with having her lead is that, yeah, she's gonna start getting, she's gonna start taking damage first. Okay, Zeph. We'll wipe out these two guys and set up a try attack. Shouldn't be that complicated, actually. Take on the guy in front first. Yeah, that guy. Take him out first. We'll make it work. Let's make sure we get both guys. Yeah, that was too much. I only need to go to level one. He's been wiped out. Let's wipe out Brownie. Thank for the job, Brownie. Okay, so he's dead. We got our bezels back. All right, so that means uh, Vash can just... He doesn't have to do anything, really, but let's get him in position. Yeah, we lost resonance points. Okay, we're close enough. Whoop, no, we're not. All right, so we lost all our resonance points because I didn't run. That's okay. We don't have to worry about that. So uh, Leanne and Zeph will finish this guy off. So we'll run over here. We don't need any resonance points, so just run towards him. Shoot the body. Lay down more, yeah, lay down more damage. Yep, didn't get any more than that, but that's okay. Just shoot her in the back of the head, why don't you? Zeph, get closer. We'll finish off this fight. Just aim for the head, level four. Yep, charged up to level four, and he's down in one shot. For converting all that damage, gave him, gave him some more experience. So Vash didn't contribute at all. Thanks, V. <laughs> That's okay. So now we're able to get to level two rec fights now. Okay. Uh, skill. Yeah, so she gained maybe 90 experience points during that fight. And he gained another 80 himself, so I guess that explains that. So we're probably going to have to get into 12 more fights before we go up another experience level, but that's okay. Let's see how strong the enemies are in rank 2. Can win three more rank 2 rounds to reach the next rank. So we'll do that by the end of this video. So we'll get to do a lot more practice. And you'll get to see how much uh, their experience level goes up after every fight with these level 5 and level 6 ranked enemies. These guys are level 5. Too. Okay, this guy? No, okay, these guys are cheap guards and machine guns. Um, maybe we need to take him out first? We can aim for all three, right? So aim for the dude on the left first, then the dude on the right, and then we'll, okay, so we'll start left and go right. Okay. Remember to jump. Okay, level one. That, 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 darn it. Switch. One. Little him down. Right. Darn it, couldn't get it off. Yeah, it's not good. Couldn't get it off. I tried to get all three people, but I got stuck on the first guy. God. All right, Zeph. So we're going to take on those two guys. It's a try attack. We're going to take on those two guys. We're going to start on the left and go right. He's out. He's not out. Now he's, a, well, he's with him. Now he's dead. Yeah, got him down. Darn, I couldn't get it off. I tried to get it off before I landed. That's the kind of incident where an auto-trigger accessory that allows him to shoot as soon as the level is charged up might be more useful. We'll worry about that later. Okay, let's get the try attack going by aiming for this dude. We gotta jump first. One, two, three, four! Good enough. We went up to level four, we only got half- whoop! Did a lot more damage than I expected on that second hit. Whoops! Uh, Leanne took a hit, so we got a problem. Okay, try attack. Liam will attack first. Right, we don't need to jump. Square. Okay, get up in the air. And he's down. Zeph took him out. I knew that was going to be a quick fight. 
So we, so Leanne took a big hit, and that was that hurt. But she gets all. Remember, she gets all of her health back at the end of a fight. Everyone gets their health back at the end of a fight. Which, which is one of the things I like about this game's design is because you, because you're instantly healed at the end of every fight. It basically means that every individual fight can be made more challenging, or at least it should be made more challenging, because you're always because the threat of every fight has a failure state here. It's not about people whittling you down over a long haul. It's about people wiping you out in any individual matchup. So I don't mind that. Uh, it's like I said, as long as you're getting all your health back at the end of the fight and there's no like persistent debuffs like poison, I'm fine with that. In, in the old days, enemies were really weak, but they would constantly drag you down in terms of HP. So the idea was, was that uh, you would constantly have to you constantly have to pull out the healing potions in between every fight, and it got annoying because you spent a bunch of time healing yourself. At least to me, it was annoying. I guess a lot of people just kind of got used to it. So we can take out these two guys. So let's start over here and work our way to the right. We'll be fine. So we'll go to the we'll go right then left. Jump Look to the right. Got him. Let's just lay down more damage. We'll just lay down more damage. Might be too risky to do anything else at this point. Yep, taking a big hit there. Okay, Zeph. Whoop! I didn't mean to do the try attack, but there we go. All right, so uh, that's right. Square. How did I do the try attack so soon? Whoops. Okay, wrong dude. Wrong dude. Yeah, I guess uh, Zeph. I guess Zeph's. Uh, contribution to the try attack is no good anymore. I screwed that up royally. I don't know what I was doing there. I pressed the wrong button is the problem. Okay, we're safe. Uh, let's see. Let's whittle down both of those guys. Leanne. Aim for that guy. We'll lay down a bunch of damage on him. Jump if you have to. Three. It's level three. That's as high as we can go. Lay down more damage. Nope, can't. Okay, we're not dead. Okay, we're gonna wipe out both of these guys in one run. Actually, back off, Zeph. That's you, dog. Um, gonna go left then right. Jump. Okay, he's down. One, two. Goes up to level two, and the threat's suppressed. Okay, so we made it work. That was clumsy as crap, but we won. <laughs> Yeah, a bunch of stuff that I didn't want to happen happen to that. Include I should have done the try attack, which is the big thing. We'll work that out later. For some reason I thought you had to be level three. I thought you had to have three residence points to get the try attack. Okay, so one more fight to get to rank level three. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's see, rank two, three. So when one more rank to go up to level to unlock rank three. Not complaining about that. We're not. We don't need all this money. It's not. I mean, honestly, we're not going to get anywhere near the money we need to get another gun, which is the big problem I have at this point. Press the left stick to see the map. So we have three enemies here. That guy on the left is going to be way over on the other side. So that's going to be annoying. Thanks for nothing, Trice. So we'll uh, set up a try attack. So, go right, jump, okay, he's dead, switch, he has to lay down some more damage on this dude, we don't have a lot of options at this point, yeah, we don't have a lot of options, <laughs> I can't reach the guy in the back, <laughs> so he am taking hits, obviously, okay, uh, Vash didn't take that much damage, it'll be fun, who do we attack next, these two, obviously, square, so attack both of those dudes on the right. Jump. He's up to level two. That was unnecessary. He's dead too. Okay, yeah, he's not gonna get that off. That's okay. We got our bezel back. We got our orange bezel back. So we'll just let a uh, Vash uh, press. Where? Yeah, triangle. Okay, so let's get the try attack going. Uh, where's Leanne? Okay, so Leanne can uh, soften this guy up a bit. Get moving. Got him. Okay, this will this will whittle him down. Yeah, so, so yeah, so we're all gonna be able to whittle him down a bit. Not her. Yeah, not her. I didn't want her to go. 
Okay, we'll roll him down a bit more. Yeah, she's the only person who can go again. Don't know what happened there, but... I'll keep, I'll keep working on the tri-attack stuff. I'm sure there's some extra nuance to what I'm not getting right away. Okay, so uh, we're not going to die. I want to say we got some of our health back during that tri-attack, too. Rewind the video and double-check that if you want to see what's going on there. Okay, so we'll, we'll have her level, lay down some more scratch damage for the end of the fight. One, two, three. He's not airborne. Now he's airborne. Jump. Back down. Yep, I'll take that. Okay, uh, Zaf, we're gonna level you up. We're gonna level you up pretty soon. Don't worry. Okay, so we'll go up to level four. One, two, three, four. Down he goes. So is that 38 points of damage? That's not a lot of damage. That's okay. Got some experience for that, right? So I guess one residence point was enough to do the try attack. I'll figure that out later. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm really learning. Okay, so what's going on here? When three more rank three rounds to reach. Okay, so we'll do we'll do three more of these. And then we'll go to the. Um, actually, did we get any scrapped? Let me see. Did we get any scrapped uh, MG parts? I doubt it. That's what I really want at this point. Darn it. We get a lot of copper coins though, but you know. Yeah, we'll get into three more fights, see how it goes. These guys are all level three, really? These guys are all level five, sorry. Well, see how rank three is. I'm just curious who we see at level four at this point. Oil Brownie. The Leanne will go first again, that's expected. Okay, so we'll start on the left, then go right. Jump first. There we go. That dude in front moved. Darn it, couldn't get it off. Alright. Uh, try attack. There we go, okay. So that means Leanne can lay down a bit more damage. So let's go for this guy right here. Okay, jump. That's a lot more damage. Next. So we can do this to lay down a bunch of whoops. Darn it! Screw that up. But we got we got all that damage we needed. Bash. Zap. Okay. So how many guys we have here? Darn it, got enough damage. We can get Leanne involved. Yeah, Leanne can uh target that dude. Okay, so we'll be able to wipe out more of these guys. We'll be fine. Go up to level four, jump. Three. That's a bunch of damage. Okay, okay, okay so whoops! Condition critical. Okay, uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. You say four times this way. Who's closest? Shoot him. He's down. Got a bezel back. Condition critical is over. You know what that means? That Zeph, finish this off. Uh, let's see. Dude in the front first. So wipe out the dude in the front first. He's not dead. Now he's dead. Level one. He's going down. Yes. Okay. So we really screwed that up. We, I think we did too many. We did too many try attacks. We did basically we did too many uh, hero actions. I think and wiped out our wiped out our health. Remember, it costs you a bezel to do those hero actions with the square button. So I'm practicing. I'm trying out some different strategies here. So obviously you can see what I'm doing wrong, but it's okay to call it practice. Aesthetically isn't a research stream. <laughs> Alright, so we've got two more fights. Actually, before we do that, let's see what our experience is. Okay, so she'll go up after maybe four more fights. His handgun will go up after uh, three more fights. Yeah, it'll be like four more fights for him. We'll make it work. We'll get Leanne up to level nine. She's a straggler at this point, but that's okay. Cool. Okay, more fighting. I can't believe I didn't know that I couldn't do the try attack with 
three resonance points. With only one resonance point, but anyway. Lands first, same as usual. Aim for these two guys. Then we'll get the try attack going. Jump! That's too much. Yeah, it was too high a level. Okay. Just mash on the button at that point. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. Do I want to do the try attack at this point? Probably not. Def. Can we do the try attack after this? No, we can't. We're gonna. Yeah, we, we don't need the try attack after this. So, guy in front and guy in the back. Then we'll get the try attack going. Jump. There we go. Okay, he's down. He's down. So we got an orange bezel back. Okay, we will these guys down a lot. So let's do the, uh, the try attack. Leanne, you're going to go first. You're gonna lay down some damage on that guy. Jump. Okay. You can wipe him out if he has to. Square. Okay, he's already in the air. I was gonna press square in case Vash got involved. Okay, you're next. All dead. So the, the early try attack worked. Okay, that's good to know. So now I know that if there's an extra enemy I need to I need to soften up. I can just do a try attack to let Leanne target that guy and will him down some more. Guess okay, so what level are we on now? We're getting a lot of, definitely getting a lot of uh, experience points here, or at least a lot of uh, gold. So what are we up to now? Yeah, one more. Let's do it. So we'll get 3K in rubies for that. But again, we're nowhere near enough for another gun. Oh well. All right. Uh, this is gonna be easy. It's gonna be easier. Okay. This is, these guys are all clustered together, this is great. So we'll go left, so we'll start here, aim for the dude in the front, and then aim to the left. Jump. There we go. Him. It's not very strong. Press right. Got him. Lay down some more damage while we're in the air, why not? Okay, so now we can uh, do hero action to take these dudes out. Zeph might be able to wipe them all out. We'll see how it goes. Dude in the back. Yeah, dude in the front, then the dude in the back will be fine. Jump. He's out. Two. He's out. Two. Darn it, couldn't get it off. Okay, so, uh, square. Charge him. Get in the air. One, two, three, four. Not dead yet. He's not dead yet. You know what that means. Try attack time. Uh, so we'll get Leanne in the air, lay down some scratch damage, and everyone else will do the rest. Square, jump, press square after you start the try attack to get everyone in the air. Okay, Vash is in the air now. Yeah, the threat's press. Okay, so that's okay. We're getting a bunch of meat we're not going to use. Well, we're gonna, we've unlocked the rank 4 fights now, so let's see what happens. I'm just curious what, what's available at this point in the game. Unlock, when three more rank 4, okay, so we'll... I guess we're going to spend all of our time in the... <laughs> I guess we're going to spend all of our time in the arena. Let's just see how dangerous these fights are. So that's what we're doing, we're spending a bunch of time in the arena. Ooh, ooh, green gear. Yeah, these guys are way stronger, so we got a problem. Okay, Leanne, uh, lay down some scratch damage on this. Actually, do we need to lay down scratch damage? We might not even need to. Okay, uh, Zeph, I'm going to need you to get high and take out that oil drum in the back of that. Whoops, we got a couple more guys back there. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, Zeph, we're going to need you to get high and attack those two dudes. Attack that dude right there. And you can aim for that dude in the back. So we're gonna go, we're gonna get high, jump, then shoot directly down at the oil barrel on the top of that enemy right there. He'll take, he might be able to take out those two dudes next to him. Jump, level four. Took it out, he's now level 10. <laughs> we inflicted a bunch of damage there. Finally got some real strong enemies to fight, good to know. We probably don't wanna stick around here. Wrong guy. Yeah, wrong guy. That's okay. 
So now we're going to need Leanne to lay down some scratch damage here. Let's see. So we did take out a couple of guys. Yeah, he's not carrying that thing anymore. Yeah, we need Leanne involved. So scratch damage, we need to take out all three of these. Who else is... If those guys are weak, we don't have to worry about them. Okay, those guys are a bit stronger. So we took out one of those guys with the guns. So ignore the resonance point, maybe? Yeah, she can aim for that guy and that guy. That's good enough. We'll make it work. That's Vash, sorry. She can jump over that guy and then aim for the dude on the right. We'll see how it works. Yep, lay down that scratch damage. We're going for his body. Stun rate, huh? Okay, lay down some damage on him. Good enough. Ow! Stupid. That, see, I wanted to take him out first, so we'll get him. Okay, Vash, finish this off. There we go. Who's the first guy we need? Hold on. Take out that dude. Then aim to the right. We'll make it work. Yup. He's out. Two. Darn, no, I got level one. That's okay. We convert some scratch damage, though. We're okay. Okay, Leanne's not looking too good. Okay, try attack. Uh, Leanne. Who's Leanne going to go for first? Leanne will take out him first. Then we'll get, uh... No, Leanne. Leanne needs to go for that guy first. Jump. Okay, that'll weaken him up. That'll soften him up. He's out. He's out. Okay, these guys are in the air. Uh, Zeph has stopped moving. Jump. Two guys are out. Okay, yeah. Try that done. We got all our orange bezels back, so we're fine. Leanne's not going to be able to take another hit, so... Um, we got plenty of orange bezels. We can use those up for a hero action. Actually, we don't even need to move. We want to go high. We want to go above them, though. So let's do this. So we'll go up to level... F we'll charge up to level 4. We'll be fine. Yes, yeah, it works. Darn it. Stupid thing. Try attack. Okay, Leanne, you go first. Get in the air. Wipe out that stupid thing. There we go. Okay, yeah, take off that stupid trunk, kid. Stupid, stupid oil can. Get in the air, doofus. Okay, well, Leanne's out of trouble. That's fine. Because who needs to experience the most? Well, we don't need to get high to shoot this guy in the face. Actually, Leanne can go first. Lay down some more scratch damage. And then Bash, then a Zeph can finish him off. Aww. He's trying to surrender, but we won't let him. <laughs> the game doesn't allow non-violent uh, solutions to problems. <laughs> yeah, he was just sitting there trying to surrender. It's like, yes, yeah, that's not the kind of game this is. Come on. There's no mercy rule in this game, apparently. He's trying to surrender. Let's shoot him in the face. Good lord. <laughs> he shot an execution style like Optimus Prime and Bayformers 3. Come on. All right, so we'll come back here later. These guys are kind of dangerous. So we'll save our game here. And then we'll, what I'm going to do is we're going to visit the power plant and maybe get some more, um, what you call it, We'll get some more um, scrap machine guns. Scrap ma machine gun parts. That'll be how we finish up the video. So I'm glad you got to see all that. So I got to see a bunch of combat. Uh, got to see a bunch of new strategies I didn't know were available. <laughs> so I'm glad I'll, I'll definitely tag this video for review if I want to practice some more combat later. It's good to know. I guess this is why those three dislikes on my Tri Tech Explained video <laughs> showed up. But I was, going, I was going to base on the tutorial. If I gotta redo it, I'll do it. 
If I have to redo a tri attack video, I will. But the idea was I was trying to get people accustomed to the basics. Uh, but it's fine. The video can be improved. I'm not, I'm not opposed to fixing my old stuff. So now that we saved our game, we can go down to the uh, power plant, kind of farm some of the mach scrap machine gun parts down there. There's one other mission we need to do, I thought. Yeah, the reason we need those scrap machine gun parts is because that dude uh, has one more side quest for us. There we go. I'm getting into a fight there, so I'm not going to complain. So much time we got left. 12 minutes. So that's enough to get a scrap machine gun part from this dude. So same as usual, we'll uh, lure him into we'll lure him into dangerous waters. The first thing we're going to do is maybe we can lure those stray curs close to him. That's right. He does not care. He's not carrying an oil drum. So we'll have to worry about that. Zef. Triangle. Excuse me. Circle. And we'll let Leanne get a tiny bit closer. Stop. 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 Okay, he's about to attack somebody. All right, uh, whose turn is it first? Leanne, get over the top and attack his body. Uh, can we attack? We're not going to worry about the curve. We're just going to lay down damage on this dude. This guy's the bigger threat. Four. Level four. Wow, there's a lot of damage there. We'll get him, we'll get him. Okay, we got his body, we got his body. Wow, a bit more damage than I expected. Okay, uh, who's next? Zeph, you're up next. Charge up to level four and wipe this dude out if you can. Over the top, of course. Gotta aim for the body. Yeah, I did some damage. Darn it. Okay, good enough. Okay, we'll get the try attack going. Try attack. Uh, Liam will go first. There we go. There's Leanne. So she will go first and Vash will go next. So she'll jump over the top, lay down some scratch damage on this dude. There we go. You can see those little bullets on the try attack screen and the little circle around the reticle that shows you what level the gun's at. We took out the big dude, so we're good. I'm trying to jump. I couldn't jump. Wow, she's still flying. <laughs> Look at her go. Yeah, she's still going. Can't be faded. Yeah, everyone else has stopped running. She's still going. She's the only person left in this try attack, apparently. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you saw in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, she was the only person left. Okay, so we'll be able to do this pretty easily. So let's just have her run up on this dude. And she'll charge up to level 4, get more experience points. So we'll switch to somebody else. Alright, too far away. Zeph, get over here. Finish up this fight, get you some experience points. And he's already leveled up. We'll let Vash do this. Charge up to level 4, let's do this thing. Yep, it's level 4. So we get some experience now. <laughs> okay, so that's good. So did we get the um, scrap machine gun part we needed? Probably not. That was a big fat waste of time. Did we get the part we needed? Well, if not, we're just going to leave, so whatever. So we'll go up one level, then we'll leave. We'll go to the next room, see if we get that scrap machine gun part we want. Uh, there are four guys back there. None of these guys have what we want. Darn it. Swear. Yep, none of these guys have what we want, so we're gonna have to bail. Okay, Leanne's get out of here. See if there's any more enemies back here. The enemies did respawn. Only one of them respawned. Just one stupid straight cur. So, uh, farm him for experience. Just a second. Yeah. There's only one enemy here. Oh well. We'll have to leave and have the enemies respawn that way. Let's get some experience on this dude. Level three. Four. She's level, yeah, she's still level four. We're just piling it on at this point. 
Ow. Knew that was coming. All right, uh, who's next? Vash is level four, Zeph is level five, so we'll let uh, Vash's gun get some experience here. We don't need to jump. Three. Lay that and get as much, ex charge it up as much as we can, I guess. All right, so we're done. Get us out of here, Zeph. So, um, I guess we're gonna have to leave, then uh, come back so that that machine gun dude will respawn. We'll be fine. So if you just want to dive into a dungeon and kind of fight some dudes, you can. Get some experience that way. Alright, so, uh, yeah. So how do we switch this up? Um, mission memo. Oh, so we did get the four we So we did get the three items we needed. Yeah, we did. So that means we're going to get a handgun magazine. Okay, so we got what we needed, so we can bail. I don't know why I thought we didn't have them already. Yep, there they are. Okay, so we can bail. Before we do that, let's do some uh, cleanup. Housekeeping. Or it adds two stored bullets to the clip. Okay. We need to do that. Alright, so uh, let's see. Skill. She's still, using, she's still using machine guns, so she can level up to level 10 pretty quickly, it looks like. So Zeph's way ahead, so I guess we can keep we can keep the gun, we can keep the pistol in his hand. If he's gonna level up to level eleven pretty quickly, it looks like I wasn't expecting that. Oh, like she can she still carry that thing? That um Yeah, so some items she's supposed to be able to carry. Uh, what was it? Yeah, it was a magazine case. Gotta equip that. Yeah, the grenade box. Yeah, she can carry it now, okay. She's leveled up, she can carry that now. If you might as well level up, because you, you want to get more items for your guns and stuff. Didn't we get... Did we get anything else we can equip? Can't use the dot... Why can't I use the dot sight? Oh, it's already on the gun. That's why. Alright, so we're fine. There's no other stuff I can... No other items I can get. Penetration rate, stun rate, damage, double damage, okay. It's a chance, it's a dice roll, whatever. Knockdown rate, I haven't been worrying about that. Alright, so, uh, so what, so am I just gonna keep Leanne with this, uh, machine gun for now? I mean, it seems fine. Yeah, it seems okay to keep her with a machine gun for now, then she'll level up, and we'll have to switch to a handgun eventually. Again, since I can't use grenades, because I can't buy any. So I'll just uh, finish off that mission, save my game, then I'll come back into the power plant. We'll do an entire video on the power plant, because I know it's going to be a thing. <laughs> the enemies inside the arena are a lot stronger now, too, so we'll see how that goes. That, that might be how we finish up the video. We'll just go in there, see if we can get to level 5, see what shows up. There'll be some fun fights we can get into. The enemies are actually harder in the arena than they are in the power plant right now, so... Just saying. <laughs> we might actually level up faster in the arena if we, if we play our cards right. Alright, so let's go back to the arena, get into some more fights. So, again, I'm learning. So we got some level 16 enemies inside that arena, but again, they're carrying explosives on their heads, so that means we can whittle down enemies a bit more fa a bit more quickly. We're a lot more comfortable with the tri-attack now, so we don't have to waste three resonance points to use them anymore. Whoop, I forgot to actually give the guy the thing. Well, let's give the thing to that guy. He was, where was he? Yeah, he was in front of the guild, digging through trash. So he, you know, the gleaner, what it, the gleaner, I guess. So let's get this dude. We gotta go down and to the right. Oh, no, wait, there he is right there. Yep. Done. So let's see what I can do with this magazine. Did you know we got issues? We got mags and issues. Wow. So this upgrade right here, 
takes the gun from six to eight. Not terribly useful. Oh, I can rotate? I didn't know I could, I'm pressing L and R to rotate. I didn't know I could rotate it. Of course, it doesn't fit there. <laughs> it doesn't count. Didn't know I could do that. <laughs> There's something new every day around here. So it only works down here. Okay, so this so this gun has the fewest. Uh, yeah, see, this one has a clip of eight. So we might as well just put it. Might as well just min max, right? I mean, it seems to be my logic. Again, what is this? I forgot what purpose this even serves. But anyway, can we put mags on our mags so we can clip while we clip? <laughs> I mean, what? Anyway, we're done with that. Wait, it's not a person. <laughs> anyway, so we got that. Let's head to the arena, see what's going on. We got a bit more done in this video than I expected. Whoops. <laughs> well, except for that. This might kill all the time we have left in this video, but that's okay. We got one leader, we'll be fine. Okay, so we'll let Leanne and Vash take out this dude so they can build up some experience with their guns. Yeah, she, yeah Vash is on her left. So, so Vash is on her left, so we'll put her to the left of Vash. So that he can, so that he can run to the right. Charge up to level four. Jump. We want to make sure we get the body. That's the thing. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't get another one off. That's okay. Thirty FPS means that. Yeah. Sometimes the meter. Sometimes the meter isn't as responsive as you'd like. That's okay. It's good enough. Going up. To, remember, we're going to charge it up to level four. Jump. Got him in the air. Alright, so like I said, we went, we went over the top so we can hit his body. We we're more likely to hit his body if we jump. At some point in the game, it's going to be obvious you're going to have to just run to someone's side and shoot them at their weak spot. But for this, at this point in the game, jumping over them and going for their body that way seems to be more efficient. Or at least a more reliable way of knowing you're hitting their body. But yeah, you can see those little meters on the, you can see the little, you know, they have a circle around them, and then you have a little meter on the outside of that circle. Those are the body parts that are blocking them, so. It's like a bulletproof vest, basically. Okay, so we got two more of these. So we'll do two more quick battles, hopefully by the end of the video. We don't have a lot of time, though, so we might not be able to get through them both. Let's just see what happens. Like I said, you got to see more fighting. You got to see plenty of combat in this video. And some item farming. And some additional strategies. I think we got a problem here. Okay, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Probably going to need a try attack at some point. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump over this dude. Actually, no. Can we wipe him out? Might not be able to wipe him out right away. Uh, Vash, you go first. No, not him. We'll let uh, Zeph go first. No, we can't get a resonance point by doing that. Yeah, we can't get a resonance point doing that. Guess we got a problem. Back out. But we could move him. Yeah, it's moving behind them. Yeah, then we can then he can run between them and get the resonance point. Because we're gonna need that try attack pretty soon. So jump over this dude and uh yeah, jump over this dude and uh blow him up. Level four. Level 5, actually. Yep, that was level 5. Oh, bluey. We managed to whittle him down a bit, and that's good. We're going to have to wipe him out. Okay, Lian. Uh, then we'll get a try attack going once you do this. You're almost out of time in this video. Charge it up to level 4. There we go. He'll be dead in the next turn. This will whittle down the drum pick, see? Which isn't what I wanted, but I got to level that. I got to lay down some scratch damage. Okay, try attack. Leanne, you go first. Who do we want to get rid of? That machine gun guy. Yeah, we'll do that. Charge it up. Okay. Wipe this dude out. He's not dead yet. He will be, though. Yeah, this, this will wipe him out. 
Who's next? Drum Pixie. <laughs> Don't need to whittle down with Drum Pixie. Well, Drum Pixie's dead. 